Uh, hey guys, I hope you're doing super awesome. Uh, today I have with me my friend Harshit, who is working as a software engineer in Google. So um, we will be sharing his uh, entire experience from giving the interview to the offer letter. And uh, so here we begin. So first of all, many congratulations again, Harshit. Thank you so much. <laughs> so um, let's start. So uh, it would be great if you can give a quick introduction about uh, your um, academic background and the work experience wherever you have worked in. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, hi, I'm Harshit. I'm currently working with Google for as a software engineer. Uh, previously, I have worked with Uber for around uh, two and a half years as a part of the payments team. Um, uh, prior to that, I was studying in my college in IIIT Hyderabad. Uh, as a computer science, I completed my bachelor's over there, and yeah, in the during my uh, duration at college, I have done several course projects and uh, internships. One major internship was at Goldman Sachs, and uh, yeah. Okay, awesome. So, uh, like before we jump into uh, like your interviews and everything that happened at Google, um, it would be great like if you can explain like. Uh, what was your pre-preparation strategy like? How many how many months that you you know pre-prepared for the interviews? Uh, what were the things that you majorly focused on? Like what were the areas key areas that you prepared for? And uh, yeah, how did the entire uh, things? Begin? So I majorly focused on data structures and algorithms, the lead code. Uh, like uh, it was the the website to go. Uh, all the I solved almost 200 questions not much but uh, the lead code was the platform that i was using uh, apart from that few youtube channels and other things i was randomly watching for system designs and behavioral rounds so yeah that was and uh, i didn't prepare anything specific for google except for the behavioral round part uh, where it was uh, like the, the googliness round it is called uh, so for that, I had to do some special preparation for the behavioral round, watching some YouTube videos again. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. So any duration, Harshi, that you prepared for like two or three months, six months as in uh, prior to? I, honestly, I was not preparing for interviews uh, like so religiously. I was mostly focused on my job only. And meanwhile, some parallel time, whenever I got at weekends or uh, at uh, uh, evening after job, I randomly spent some time. So it was throughout the tenure I was doing the similar things. If the workload was much, I was not able to focus on the interview preparation or like I I feel as a software engineer, you should always be ready for interview. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my uh, kind of uh, theme that I uh, follow. But uh, for Google specific, I would say maybe a month not more than that because i was already prepared for interview like awesome. general things so. yeah so the key takeaway is we should be always prepared for the interviews right yeah the best uh, the there is a line that i religiously uh, believe in which is that um, uh, the best uh, job security is when you know that you can easily get another job so yeah awesome so uh, now talking about Google, I think uh, a lot of people apply through different um, different ways, like directly applying to career portal, referral, and all those things. So um, what was your approach to apply? Um, as I think as I already know that you've applied for a lot of companies and uh, you know what worked and what did not. So what was uh, what was uh, your um, application process and what really worked out for you uh, to get the interview call? Sure. So uh, I keep my LinkedIn uh, whenever I uh, whenever it's a good practice that whenever you are applying for uh, uh, interviews, keep your LinkedIn profile updated. And I did got referral for the Google. Uh, I took that, but um, that didn't work out for me. The what thing worked out was like uh, Google recruiter reaching out to me from my LinkedIn profile and. Uh, uh, just a random call that started uh, whether you are interested in the so such and such role at Google. And um, since I already took referral, uh, so yeah, I was definitely interested. Uh, but uh, more than referral, that uh, 
keeping my linkedin profile updated and help me a lot for getting me interview awesome so linkedin is i think uh, one of the um, top uh, most preferred website when it comes to you know, job application and i think as harshit uh, already uh, told we should always keep our linkedin profile updated because um, you never know you get uh, awesome opportunity like google so uh, now talking about the uh, the main process like the main interview process uh how many rounds uh, were there like for the i think uh, sd3 role and how many um, like uh, total rounds were there and like in the first two rounds like what was the main focus on in the interview so yeah one thing to note about google is like google doesn't follow in sd3 sd2 those are just titles google focuses on the, also on the levels is it l3 level or l4 level l3 is generally just for the college graduates and l4 is a level up so i am in l4 level um before the rounds they don't prefer to tell you what level are you getting interviewed for the level is decided only after you interview so um for uh, the process is same uh, it would be like uh, they are they keep changing it for me it was like one telephone screen round uh, where it was a lead code question and um, they uh, have their own uh, internal portal where you need to uh, it's like a pair programming portal where uh, um similar to google docs but some with good programming features like the code highlighting and other things uh, so you should practice for google docs if you are aiming for a software role at google so because uh yeah they don't have the fancy tools for interviewing they don't prefer to use them um and the uh, so uh that's the for the technical phone round the other rounds were also the same so they then gave two more um data structures and algorithms round and uh, which were again lit code medium hard questions uh, hard like i won't say too hard it were like just the basics uh that they were focusing on and there were like lots of follow up so that they ha- they understand that you have uh, thorough knowledge in your subject and so you're not just uh, just mugged up some lead code questions and you're coming for the round so they ask some follow up pro- questions uh, so that so that they understand that you have the in depth knowledge of what you are saying and what the questions that they mean after the two rounds uh, they after the two rounds they set up two more rounds in which uh, for one of the rounds you have an option to go with the system design round or again with the data structure rounds since i was more comfortable in data structures rounds i have preferred that and uh, uh, yeah that doesn't affect whether uh, uh, whether which level are you interviewing for so uh, yeah system design is not a compulsory round for an till an l4 level from l5 and above i think it becomes compulsory i'm not very sure i've never interviewed for above levels but yeah so there were four on site round and one technical for interview round all data structures and algorithms okay so dsa is like the most important thing for the google interview process yeah. so uh, as you were saying about the dsa round so uh, like did you like in the process did you feel that uh, the questions were majorly let's say on linked list or trees any specific topic that you felt that the interview was any uh, specifically uh, heavily you know uh, based on or w- w- or it it was something else i would say it's more of general questions but uh, uh they more they focus more on basics so strings and arrays were one of the two of the important part which played um, the two of the important topics which came in during the interviews um and yeah basics of dfs and other things were also there but they don't go way more in say i heard uh, so many uh folks preparing the deep competitive programming uh, like uh, data structures and algorithms which might be useful it can be but uh, for uh, like uh, it for me it was just the simple things like the dfs and strings and arrays not much uh, those fancy or graphs or fancy trees algorithms so okay yeah. so i think uh, this is like a, a good key uh, take away like uh, rather than you know, 
uh, preparing the entire uh, these different sections preparing for competitive programming if, uh, if uh, the focus is on still you know just getting the fundamentals right and focusing on these topics then i think uh, that should suffice right okay yeah. awesome. and these were the four rounds and as you mentioned there was something called as googliness round as well right yeah it's like a behavioral round um yeah so yeah, i forgot to mention that after the four rounds there was a behavioral round um where you get questions like uh, what if what how would you handle conflicts with your teammates with managers and such and such questions um you can easily find those questions on any youtube by uh, videos i followed them and i was prepared for such questions there were few surprise questions as as, as well which were not present on any of the platforms and but if you uh, are familiar with the how the behavioral rounds work and how what they expect and how you should approach those questions you should have your uh, like experiences with you so uh, based on your experience you can easily come up with uh, good scenarios or um, other things and uh, then there was a team matching round as well which okay. i uh, so you get um, you inter you, it was like a reverse interview where the team is trying to uh, tell you why you should join their team Ooh, and nice. then you ask questions like how, how is the team culture how many folks are there how many uh, how what are challenging things are they doing so that it's time for a reverse interview kind of thing so you choosing a team Uh, rather than a team choosing you they also choose you so it should be a two way match but uh, yeah you get to interview the teams and team gets to interview you um, the google uh, processor google is like uh, pretty common like they are pretty is uh, i would say pretty um uh, uh, helpful that they interview for google not for a specific team the team okay. is matching happen okay. after you have clear all the rounds so it was a good that if you don't like a team you can just move around to and keep interviewing with multiple teams and i got an opportunity in the android team so uh, i i like that team i wanted to work i have uh, thought of working on operating system since my college days and finally i i got a team which was working on operating close to operating system so yeah i took that and i'm with the android uh, operating system team yeah awesome um so um you've discussed about all the rounds that you uh, went through so um so when you were saying about the last the team matching round so is it where um is it like where you Uh, so as you mentioned right it is you who would be choosing so is it also in like an elimination round or you selected and now you only have to pick like specific team you can choose out of multiple so teams so two way so team first team, it's up to team whether they like you or not they like your profile or not they do uh, uh, in the team matching round they do they do take your inter uh, uh, introduction and they do ask you few questions which uh, make uh, which uh, um gives them clarity whether you would be a good fit for team or not and if they like you you would be given an option uh, to choose whether you want to accept this offer or continue with more team uh, uh, team matching rounds so uh, it's not a guarantee that you would be getting another team matching round or you would be getting matched with another team so it's up to you if you really like the team and uh, you are comfortable with going into that team uh, you can decide to say yes else you can continue with next team matching rounds and the similar process repeats okay okay awesome so um as as i already know like you've joined google london which is awesome so uh, like before this like um, you worked in india right in in all your past organizations so um, any anything different that you found when it comes to uh, like anything like from the interview process like approaching uh, or in the you know the entire interview process anything different that you found in india and uh, the process that you had in london um like i said for google there is nothing specific google hires for google uh, and not for any specific team so i did have my team matching rounds in um, uh, bangalore team as well um but i preferred continuing with the team matching rounds and then i found a team in london 
which was more close to what I was, I wanted to work on, uh, like the operating system part. So I chose the London and also a new location to explore. So definitely it was a plus plus. Awesome. Uh, so any tips for the people, uh, for the people who are you know, aspiring for Google for the SD roles? Um, um, nothing specific that is not already available there, but um, I would say that uh, be confident and uh, try it. Like I, I had tried it from my internship to get around with Google. I never got it. I never got an opportunity for interviewing for internships or for uh, as a fresher, I didn't got a chance to get interview. And finally, when I got it, I was like overwhelmed. And but since I was already preparing for interviews all around, so uh, it was not that uh, 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 for so I was not that anxious while uh, saying yes, whether it would be yes or no. I was enjoying my work in Uber and I was comfortable whether if uh, uh, whether it goes positive or negative. So uh, I did enjoy my work at Uber. And um, so that's the one thing you should be enjoying your work because if you don't uh, do that, uh, the two things would be uh, very challenging to handle the interview process. And if your work is not going good, so uh, uh, be sure that you are comfortable and take your time. Like I asked them for a month of time of preparation. So mm -hmm. then Google is very comfortable in giving you time. They I, they make sure that you are comfortable and prepared. The inter, uh, the recruiter is really helpful. The yeah. any recruiter I would say I have interviewed at multiple companies and all the recruiters are really helpful. But Google it, uh, recruiters are especially super helpful and super friendly. They are on your team. So okay. if you ask for the resources, they'll provide you. If you ask for more time, they will provide you. If you ask for rescheduling for any reason, um, they will uh, help you with that. And they would, uh, they are like just uh, as super friendly as uh, uh, possible. So I would say uh, um, be confident, pre be prepared uh, for the lead code data structures and basic system designs that would help you a lot. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, the key insight from, I think the entire discussion is like to be always prepared for the interview process and uh, be very thorough with the lead code. And uh, of course, uh, preparing the system design as well. So, okay. So um, what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be mentioning Harsh Slimmin profile. Um, anybody who wants to connect with him and uh, yeah, thank you for your time, Harsh. And I'll also drop in, I think, of course, everybody knows the lead code link and the system design um, interview thing. So I'll be dropping yeah. those things in the description. For system design, I'll mention one, two few of things. It's like the Gaurav Sen videos. They were awesome. I followed them. Um, I followed all the videos. I have been following him from long uh, since he was at uh, Uber. Before that, even uh, like uh, I've been following the system design, the, that's the, my go-to place for system design interviews. I watched his videos again and again. Um, and then there is some code curly and uh, pseudo code as well, uh, which were very helpful for my system design practice. I also have the educative.io subscription, which uh, helped uh, me going through the courses. So yeah, all those were the system design resources. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So uh, uh, thank you, Harshit, for your time again. I've been bugging you since last two months and eventually we, <laughs> we managed to uh, pull this off. So yeah. Uh, thank you. For no and yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Bye.